How do you view the future? Are you filled with self-confidence because you think you're in control? The rich man said, this is what I'll do. I'll tear down my barns. I will, build, I will build bigger ones. And there I will store all my grain and all my goods. And I'll say to myself, you have plenty of good things laid up for many years. Take life easy. Eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, you fool, this very night your life will be demanded of you then who will get what you have prepared for yourself? Do not boast about tomorrow, for you do not know what that day may bring forth. Are you filled with worry because you know there are many things out of control? Worry is rampant in our society. We worry about our children, job security, relationships, health, etc. Close to one in four people at some point in their lives meet the, the uh, criteria of anxiety disorders related to worry which require professional treatment or panic attacks. I've had them. They're very serious. It feels like you can't catch your breath. <clears throat> Not all worry is bad. There are two kinds of worry. The good concern leads to constructive action. Example, if I'm jogging and feel severe pain in my chest, I should be concerned and go see the doctor. I shouldn't say, I'm not going to worry about it. It's probably nothing. Chronic worry, excessive anxiousness that restricts our life. Chronic worry could be called the what-if disease. Example, if a chronic warrior is thinking about taking a flight, he might think, what if the plane crashes, or what if the plane is hijacked, or what if the person next to me snores. Someone has said, worry is a misuse of imagination. Chronic worry can cause serious physical problems, such as ulcers, heart attacks, and high blood pressure. Dr. Charles Mayo of the famous Mayo Clinic wrote, Worry affects the circulation, the heart, the glands, and the whole nervous system. I have never met a man or woman or known a man to die of overwork, but I have known a lot of people who died of worry. You can literally worry yourself to death. An ancient heart weighs a man down, Proverbs 12 and 25. The English word worry comes from an old German word meaning to struggle or to choke. Are you filled with faith because you believe God is in control? Many are the plans in a man's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails, Proverbs 19 and 21. Your eyes saw, the unformed, my, your eyes saw my unformed body, and the days ordained for me were written in the book before one of them came to be. Psalms 139 and, G and 16. What Jesus said about worry. Then Jesus said to the disciples, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or about your body, or what you will wear. Life is more than food, and the body is more than clothes. Consider the ravens, they do not sow nor weep. They have no storeroom or barn, yet God feeds them. And how much more valuable are you than these birds? Who of you are worrying? Who of you, by worrying, can add a single hour to his life? Since you cannot do this very thing, why do you worry about the rest? 